So what you look, what this webinar is going to be covering is the pattern move. This is the pattern move. The pattern move has fixed fastener functions and floating fastener functions. The pattern move is used when you have <clears throat> parts that have a pattern of holes, pattern of pins, or what we call floating pins. So this model is set up to show multiple functions of the pattern move. Um, so it has a lot of moves in it. <clears throat> and I want to just give you a brief overview. This part here has zero tolerances on it. If I hit deviate, you can see that the only current tolerances are on these pins here. There'll never be any tolerance up here. This is going to be considered perfect part. And these are perfect pins. We will be changing the tolerances on the base part. So the pattern move is required when you're locating a part with a pattern of holes to a pattern of pins. And so prior to the pattern move, if I build this, you can see I'm building it right now with just this initial feature move, which is locating this pin to this hole and this pin to this hole. Well, we know that the feature move is acting like a 3, 2, 1. So <clears throat> my primary plane is the mating face down here. This is acting like a four-way locator, and this is acting like a two-way locator. If I put this in a plan view and hit deviate, you can see how this pin on occasion will crash through the hole. If I zoom up here, you can see these pins are severely crashing because the part's being located just by these two pins and there's a large float. These are 10 mil pins and 14 mil holes. And because the feature move constrains us to a 3-2-1 locating scheme, the one hole is a four-way, and the one hole is acting like a two-way, as though it were a diamond-shaped pin or a slot-shaped hole. And because we didn't have an introduction, I'd like to let you know that was Brenda Quinlan. She's our other uh, tech support. Mm -hmm. And uh, she will be joining in with additional commentary because I tend to forget things sometimes. So... Um, we have down here circle interference measures where you can see we're measuring to see if the pins are crashing through the holes. While I just have the feature move on, if I run a quick analysis, you can see that I'm crashing. This Circle interference measure is checking both pins simultaneously. Not sure if you guys are aware that you can put multiple features inside the circle interference measure and it will check every pair for the minimum clearance. So this is our validation measure to see that the pattern move works. So I'm gonna go in into this pattern move, which is only using these two pins. <clears throat> 